Hey guys, Jay Hoyt here. Before we get into today's video, we tell you guys at the start of every single one of these videos to go down below, check are you subscribed to the channel if you're not, or if it's your first time here, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload, and don't forget, you can always change your mind later. <music> What's going on guys? Jay Hoy back with you today. Welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard. We are back here, of course, on the only map I actually enjoy playing, Das House. And we got another great gameplay for you in the background. So we've been going through the CDL, the uh, preseason previews. Well, we are now on episode number four, part four, video four, whatever you want to consider. We're on the fourth video of the CDL preseason preview. So uh, we actually have two teams that went along the lines of uh, the same strategy, if you will. So we have the London Royal Ravens and the Seattle Surge. So the strategy these guys went for this year, get a veteran leader and then surround them with three uh, players that all are young and are talented. So first up, of course, let's start with the London Royal Raven. So this team, let's start with what they did last year. Of course, we got to recap that. These guys had a team consisting of Shawnee, Alex, Dylan, Zero, Parasite, Zed, Paul X, Zapius, and Afro. Did I count eight or nine different players there? And uh, it seemed every single stage and every event, it seemed like they had a different team. So uh, let's start, of course, in stage one, where they finished sixth in groups, 11th, 12th at champs. With the roster of Alex, Dylan, Parasite, and Shawnee. Stage 2, they get 4th in groups, 9th, 10th at the Major. Uh, they subtracted Alex and put in Zed uh, from the APAC region. Stage 3, they get 5th in groups and 7th, 8th at the Major. Uh, so they took out Dylan and Parasite and put in more young talent, Zapius and Paul X. Uh, going into Stage 4, uh, fifth in groups, ninth, tenth at the major. Uh, they minus Zed for Alex. Alex back in the squad now. Uh, stage five, fourth in the groups, ninth, tenth at the major. Uh, they stuck. Uh, they stuck with the same roster as stage four. Uh, and then at champs, uh, they finished tenth place with the roster of Afro, Alex, Paul X, and Shawnee. And this was just a bad team. Like all year long. Like, it was like easy wins against these guys. Like, it was just, if you faced off against London, easy win, right? Uh, plain, t uh, bad team, plain and simple. Uh, these guys did have some young talent that did show some promise. I know Afro towards the end of the year uh, did show some promise. And, you know, we'll get to it in a second here. But that's kind of why they built around him uh, for this upcoming team. Um, but could never really do anything with their young talent. Like, realistically, if you would have kept in um, Paul X, Zapdius, Afro, and then threw in a guy like Shawnee maybe and just had that veteran leader with uh, the three young guys around him, maybe you could have done something. Uh, maybe you could teach the guys the right way. Maybe their play would have, uh, you know, improved a little bit. But, of course, most of the year being online, of course, due to COVID and due to everything else, um, you know, coming back in Stage 5 and Champs, on land, nothing really improved with these guys. So they also had some early on problems uh, with visa issues. Of course, some of these players being from Europe or um, wherever else. So that's when the likes of Parasite had to step in his first time back in the league. And I couldn't even tell you how long. Uh, and it gave him a good chance, at least for uh, a stage or two, to uh, come in and, and show what he could do. Uh, but, you know, he didn't really you know help them at all. Um, and then, yeah, this team just did not do well. They changed their team countless times, almost every single stage, until they got to stage five in champs. And it, nothing really helped them. So what do they do on to Vanguard? Well, they keep Afro like we were talking about earlier. Uh, they pick up Gizmo, Nasty, and Zero. An, uh, a squad that, again, has a veteran leader and has young talent. But will they be able to put it together or is it going to be a story from last year where these guys just suck and they're going to be a free win every single year now i will say this right now 
despite what I saw last year from Afro, I don't really know too much about him. Zero's been around forever. He's been every role under the sun uh, for a Call of Duty team. And uh, Nasty and Gizmo, I've heard of them, never really seen them play. So I don't know what to expect with this team. You have unproven rookies versus the entire league, basically. Like You have your, your top-end talent, your Atlantas, your Torontos, your Optics, your New Yorks, your LAG, your LAT, your uh, Florida, your Minnesota. It's going to be very hard for these guys to break in to the top eight. So I put them as a bottom six team. So sixth place out. Now, I don't remember who it was, but someone said well, this was the best London team we've ever seen coming into this year on paper. Kind of had a similar team to this with young talent and a veteran rookie or a veteran player last year with the likes of Shawnee, with Paul X, Alex, Afro, uh, Zapius was in there for a while. So, I don't know how this team's going to work. I really don't. Um, but, prediction, bottom six team. I'd probably put them bottom four. Uh, probably eight through ten, I think. Uh, there's a couple other teams that will do worse than them. Uh, well, also, it's hard to say because we don't have that 12th team. So, of course, some of these predictions might change once we get into that 12th team. But, like I said, even in the middle of the pack with Florida and Minnesota... I don't think I'm going to put them above them. I would say definitely top 12, top 8. I don't know if I could do that. Uh, that's why I'm saying bottom 6, uh, probably 8 through 10, 8, 9, 10 um, ish area for these guys in London. On to our second team of the video. It's going to be the Seattle Surge. Yet another team that has a veteran leader with more young talent around them. But will this team be better than London? Will they, you know, perform better than London? Do they have the talent to beat out London and, of course, the rest of the teams in the league? Well, of course, we got to start with what they did last year. So the roster of Octane, Gunless, Pristini, Looney, Decimate, and Classic, all these guys combined, uh, well, you know, over the course of the year. Stage 1, they were 5th in groups, 11th, 12th at the Major. Stage 2, 4th in groups, 7th, 8th at the Major. Stage 3, 6th in groups, 11th, 12th at the Major. Stage 4, 6th in groups, 7th, 8th at the Major. Stage 5, 5th in groups, 5th, 6th at the Major. Uh, stage 5 was the event where they beat Atlanta Phase on LAN uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, a really off event for uh, Atlanta Phase. And uh, these t this team was not at champs so um i should say that um i think i mixed up my uh my london thing i don't they weren't at champs either i don't believe so um i don't know why i put 10th at champs they weren't actually there uh, that must have been in the entire league but either way um they, uh, seattle was not at champs a team that struggled online uh big time uh this team definitely these players were built for land. Like plain and simple, this team, if the entire year was on land, this team would have done a lot better, right? Octane, Gunless, Pristini, and Looney was their team for most of the year uh, until uh, you know they kind of had some issues and were not really placing too great online. And of course, they tried to change it up with Decimate. They tried to change it up with Classic. And uh, overall, just didn't really work out until stage five, where they actually performed pretty decent. But, you know, there would have been a lot higher in the standings if it was on land. But either way, we move on to a new year. Uh, going into Vanguard, whole team, squad wipe. Octane got out of there. Gunless was out of there. Pristini was out of there. Looney uh, retired, I think, or uh, went into coaching or uh, something. Decimate was out of there. Uh, Classic was out of there. And now we have Accuracy, Mac, Sib, and Pred. Uh, again, similar to London, but Seattle now has a veteran leader, like we talked about with Accuracy, with young talent around him. But here's again, the biggest problem, the similar story as we talked about with London. Young, young talent's great, but until you're winning, until you can teach these guys how to win, do you really want to just give up all of your you know veteran players around the league and just go with young talent and hope they do well and if not you're just like ah oh well like do, does it really matter that much like i don't think so um but will these guys what will these guys be next year i mean 
again, we listed off the top six, uh, six to eight teams uh, that are in the league, and I don't see this team beating them. Like, once again, similar story to London here. Bottom six team, eight through 12. You know, I can't tell if his team is going to be average, horrible, bad. Like, I just... None of these words I would describe his team as would be good, has potential, would be a dark horse. None of those. Like, plain and simple, this will not be a good team. Uh, unless somehow Pred or Sib, uh, you know, absolutely go off and completely turn this team around. I don't feel like this team's going to work. I don't feel like this team um, will do much of anything. And, uh, you know, I want to make a separate video about this, but I don't know if young talent, like, unless they're... Unless you're already a good team, you're just replacing one player. I don't think, you know, squad wiping your whole team for young talent is the best solution. But again, I want to get into that in a different, separate video. But both these teams, bottom of the league, I think, once again. And uh, until teams, you know, figure out that you can't just spend money on young talent and one decent player, you're like, you're not going to be good. Like, plain and simple. But either way, that's going to be it, though. For today's video, I think I rambled on long enough. Probably have to uh, do a little bit of editing in this one. But hey, too bad, right? But either way, London and Seattle. Let me know all of your thoughts and comments down below in that comment section. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below if you haven't yet. Or if you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you never miss an upload. And don't forget, you can always change your mind later but with all that being said guys we'll see you in the next one